What's up guys, welcome to new Unreal Engine 5 tutorial. Today we are continuing with the RPG series and finishing off the equipment system. So first of all, we will be adding some text into our equipment UI so we know which category is which and where we can place our melee weapons, ranged weapons, etc. Then we will be making that we only can transfer the data into the character per slot. So each slot will be individual. So for example, if we equip a sword in the melee category and then a bow in the range category it will not all right uh, you will see what i mean in a second and then lastly will be uh, importing a shield and a bow so we can start integrating them into our sockets and equipping them so with all said it's gonna be a very easy build to follow so let's get started <laughs> Alright, so the first thing I want to do is go into the equipment system UI and let's go ahead and open our WB equipment widget and we're going to be adding that text. So in this case, if we select this slot, we can see that this is the melee weapons category. This one is the range weapons. This one is the armor and this one is the shields. So let's go over here and just go ahead and drag a text on here. Uh, let's go and just drag it in the canvas panel, select it and then we can see it here. So let's go ahead and drag it over here and we will just keep the anchors in the in the corner okay and this one will be the top left corner so like this and then what we're going to do is yeah put it maybe yeah, actually into the right okay snap to the right and then what we'll do is increase the size maybe 30 is a bit better yeah that's a bit better and then what we can do is put over here well melee i don't know if i uh pronounce it correctly melee melee I, I don't know but <laughs> you get the idea right uh so let's change the name this will be the uh, melee uh, category text great so now we can go ahead and uh, duplicate this and we'll have this over here let's go ahead and drag it into the bottom one and let's get the anchors over here to put it on the left bottom corner now let's see uh, which uh, position in the y, in the X, sorry it is, so it's 168, let's go ahead and put it into the X over here, so it's basically perfectly aligned as you can see, and I believe that I need to center a bit better the Y1 over here, like this, and then in this case this is the armor, so let's go ahead and put this in armor, like that, there we go, and then let's do the same with the other slots, let's go ahead and get the melee one, duplicate it, in this case, the anchors will be in the top uh, right corner, and then we can just go ahead and put it over here. So we're going to get the Y position, which is 352. Let's go ahead and apply it in this one, like so. And I'm going to go and do the opposite on the justification. So we'll align into the right over here. Let's get the X and just put it a bit into the right over here. I think that looks pretty, pretty neat. Um, and then what we can do is duplicate it. Select it, duplicate it, and do the same. Go into the bottom right anchor, and then go ahead and put this over here. Now let's put the same um, X position, which is this one. Let's copy, go here, and paste it. And then uh, that's pretty much it. It's pretty much aligned. Great for us. Now this one was the ranged weapon, so let's go ahead and put here a uh, range. And let's go into the last one. And in this case, this one is shields. So let's go ahead and put here shields uh well just in a singular better shield right because it's the current one equipped great so that should be it we can now compile and save and move on um so now basically it's a bit clearer you know where basically we open the uh, panel where we can place our melee weapons range weapons shield and armor of course as the series progresses we'll be touching the ui right now this is like the uh, base of the ui of course like normal font text uh, normal images you know like we'll get into an actual design later on in the series but i have to move on into other things because if not um we will not you know progress a lot now we are progressing super fast okay it's already like what 19 20 episode and we already have equipment system stamina health stats uh, combat like so many things so we're advancing very fast but uh, if we do so it will just you know uh, get into the point basically all right, so now let's go ahead and do so. Uh, so what I was explaining before is that we can only equip um, the specified uh, item into our character. So what I was meaning is that, well, if I select all these items, for example, and I go here and select the uh, light sword, for example, right now I have just equipped the light sword. But then if I go into range and put the wooden bow, 
you can see that my wooden bow is actually equipping into my sword and overriding this and it shouldn't be like this okay the the bow and the armor and the shield should have another uh, object another shot socket for example in here in the armor uh, sorry in the shield it will be like in his back and range uh, bow also in his back maybe and then when we get into the states of defending ourselves with armor or uh, shooting with a bow who we'll, you know transition from his back into uh, for example his hand of course but and uh, this is what i basically meant uh, and maybe i expressed myself bad but basically you're overriding the object right so what we have to do is for the melee is okay right you're going ahead and select him uh, the according slot and putting him into his hand but for the ranged armor and shield we have to do other ways so let's go ahead and open up the equipment slot okay now remember not the item slot but the equipable slot let's go into the graph and here we can see that when we click the button we are doing this we're going here and assigning it into that specific um uh, category and also going ahead and uh well basically yeah no sorry 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 yeah it's actually in the item slot because of course in the equipment slot you open up the list and then in the item slot is the one you actually select it you can see we select it we go into widget and then pass on the item and on here we are assigning the item slot let's go ahead and double click into it and we open it up as you can see over here we are basically getting that um, item breaking it down and then assigning it into the equip item now the thing is that um from here what we have to do is different okay from here it will depend on what we are having we will want to put the image into the slot okay but then from here we want to depending on we have a sword a bow and stuff do something different okay so what we're going to do is go ahead and do a uh, because this is a numerator we can do a switch okay and we can do a switch on the e weapon types uh, which i think is with lowercase maybe yes switch on e weapon types there we go so i can plug this in now if it's melee weapons yes we will do so we will do it like this but if we have a range weapons, we will have to do it in another way. Let's go ahead and quickly close compound and save, right? And let's go into our third person character. And what we're going to do is actually importing the shield and bow because we will start adding the socket. So later on, we can use it be here. So let's go into the um, content. And right now here we have sword, right? Let's go ahead and create a new folder and call this just weapons. And let's get the sword and put it inside of weapons so everything will be organized in weapons uh so i did so we have the sword here and for some reason uh, it left the the um yes just delete this okay i don't know why it left this the um, the folders but okay that's weird it's a bit bugged out okay don't worry just ignore it uh but we have it on weapons okay great anyway let's create uh more folders but when we drag the item the item will also create it so i'll be leaving these two uh, items in the description and yeah, they're totally free from sketchfab so we'll have a medieval shield and a wooden bow so let's begin by the medieval shield so what i will do is just change the m over here and then this like this so it's a bit prettier i guess i can just drag it in and then just press reset to default and then that's pretty much it you say import all we will have just warning doesn't matter and then now here we have the mesh itself and the textures and so on let's quickly go ahead and assign it so we can open up the material go into textures and start getting so this is the base one the base one will be the rgb into the base color then we'll have the normal into the rgb to the normal we'll have the uh, roughness which is this one into the roughness we'll have the uh what is this uh the occlusion over here and honestly i don't really know which one is this one uh meta but don't worry it doesn't matter oh metallic sorry yeah so let's drag it in rgb into metallic and there you go now we have our material with the shield we can now go ahead and uh, apply and save the material and uh, we should have it assign it into our shield there we go super cool Control shift s to save everything now let's go ahead and do the same with our bow so let's go ahead and open this uh, we have the wooden bow free 
Um, but the thing is that when I extracted it, so you have to right click extract the things and we have source and textures. For this one above, when I entered in source, there was another <laughs> uh, zip file. So I extracted that away again, and now we have the things. So basically, just get this one, the one that was inside the source, you extract it again, and drag it in. And then we can now go ahead and say import all. And again, the warning doesn't matter. Here we go. And we have this over here. And uh, now we have to create a material for this. So just right click on the, for example, the this one, create a material. And this will be, yes, M underscore wooden bow. And let's get onto wooden bow here. Let's open this up. Let's just get the normal, drag it here. This will be into the normal. And this is the, the roughness. Let's go ahead and put this here. And that should be it. So now we can apply and save. And there we go. And now we have just have to sign it to the static mesh. So open up the model itself. And down here we can search for M underscore wooden bow. And I will have here with a wooden bow. Great. Everything is going ahead and working. So what we have to do now is go into the character skeleton and apply a socket. So let's go into content, characters, uh, mannequins. This will go into meshes. And then we can see that we have the SK mannequin. Let's go ahead and open this up. You already remember in the start of the combat section, we created basically a socket for the sword. And so what we have to do now is just create a socket for the shield over here. Now, I think that I want to mention real quick is that uh, some people mentioned in Discord is that what if we later on have different swords that maybe doesn't fit into this hand or whatever. Well, that is why we went ahead and let me quickly show you, we created a uh, weapon socket string. So here we can pass, if so, a different socket for each weapon and we will assign it. So is, for example, we have another weapon and the scale is different. We have to change it into the other hand, for example. We'll pass in the name and it will assign correctly. So we already did it, basically, model. Anyway, let's continue. Uh, so what we have to do is we're going to go into my spine. And in this case, going to go into my spine probably five uh, or four. Yeah, I think five because it will have like hanging here. So what we're going to do now in the spine five is right click and go here into add socket. It will create the socket. Let's go ahead and change the name. So we'll keep it like we did with the other one, hand, uh, which was hand underscore R sword. In this case, we will put back underscore. And in this case, we don't have like uh, right or left. So we can just skip that. And uh, so this will be back underscore shield. And that's it. So now we're going to do is right click on this socket that we have just created. Go into add preview asset and share and uh, search for shield. And I will have it over here. So now we can just go ahead and rotate this. Uh, isn't there's no snapping? Let me just enable snapping uh, around 180 degrees. Put it back over here and make it a bit smaller because it's a bit big. I think like this should be pretty good. Maybe rotate it a bit like this. And basically, just overall make it fit pretty good in the back. Uh, I kind of did it quickly, okay, so maybe we have to spend more time on doing so, but you get the idea. And so my location rotating scale will be available here, just in case you want to put the exact same parameters. You can just paste them into your Unreal Engine, like here. Anyway, let's go ahead and save, and let's go ahead and do so also for the bow. Um, so let's go into the spine 5, and we'll go ahead and create another uh, socket. So right-click in the spine, not in the other socket. In the spine, add socket, it will create another one. This will be back underscore bow. Let's go ahead and right click into the back bow, add preview asset, and then wooden bow. And now what we have to do is do pretty much the same thing. It actually, it's, it's placing them pretty good. Um, so it might overlap a bit um, with the shield, okay, it might like come through, um, but later on, you know, we'll fix it. But for now, it is pretty good. Honestly, right? Yeah, it's pretty good. It's, it's right now overlapping, but we'll fix it as we go. So you have my values here again. Um, probably in the series we'll touch it on, but for now it's pretty good. So we'll be able to assign this socket and so on. So let's go into the uh, close this, Ctrl Shift S to save everything. And now you can see that we are back in the WB equipment. So if we were to have a range of weapons, that would mean that we have a bow. And we'll automatically place it on the character's back. 
and so let's see how we're doing this in the equip item let's double click as you can see what they're doing is getting the item that we are going to equip basically uh, as you can see we're just passing the item and then we are just getting the mesh and putting it into the equipped uh, weapon slot right so the thing is that um, what we can do is apply the same thing but in a different way the thing is that the equipped uh, weapon uh, will not fit to us because that will replace the sword right and we don't want that we want to have another one in our back so what we're going to do is go inside the mesh and right click I create a new static mesh and this will be the back uh, shield uh, but yes just back shield and then we can just apply by default the one that we created earlier which is back shield and there we go basically the static mesh will be empty like uh, it is well in here it is already assigned um but we'll actually uh, go ahead and remove that okay by default we will not have anything equipped of course um and now on the back shield um we can add well in the mesh we can now add another uh, static mesh and this will be the back bow and again we'll go ahead and find the parent socket which is back bow and leave the static mesh empty now let's go into the vein graph and what we'll do is instead of equip item we'll create a new custom event and this will be equip shield so kind of we will have uh, for different categories so probably maybe later on let's change it into equip melee item actually we'll do so so let's change this to be equip melee or melee however you spell it item and then this will be equip a shield and so on so it makes sense um so again uh, we will have a item slot that will pass like in here so s slots so let's just get the item here this will be s slots and then we will pretty much do the same thing so we can copy the notes copy this and copy this and just copy and paste it and we will just have it here plug it in I will extract in the things so we'll get the back shield get the model and then set static mesh get the raw found to put it over here and there we go I will get the static mesh plug it there and that should work um, of course we have to go and call it uh, we'll do it in a second but now let's do the same with the custom event actually what we can do is yeah let's custom event this will be equipped bow and then we can just copy the, the whole thing paste it plug it in and then uh in here add the input so this will be again the item it automatically plays item slots great let's uh go ahead and plug this in uh, let's move it a bit to the right here and then what we want to do is replace back shield with back bow so what we're going to do is drag it exactly on the top and it will replace it so there you go back bow is there compound save let's go into wb equipment and um actually we want to cast into our character you know uh, cases so let's get the weapon switch on here ctrl x put it here so it will cast but then after this it will do different things so yes in melee weapons it will do this equip melee item um let's put it up here uh, but for this one it will do equip uh, bow here we go in range weapons we'll do that and basically we'll pass the item from here okay we can just get it from the pin that we did if not you can just get it from the start but you get the idea uh we'll do the same from here it will be equip so we actually don't have armor yet so we'll equip uh, directly the shield right now we'll skip it so make sure that you don't plug it into armor make sure it is on shields okay and then we can leave some space so i can remember this and then just plug this in actually what we can do from armor is get armor and then print um, armor not available yet. Yes, also, so you know, we just remind ourselves when we equip something like we still don't have the armor done. Uh, let's go ahead and just compound save. And actually, all this should already be working. So if I, well, first of all, we have to go into DB weapons and we have to create the items for, uh, well, in bow, where they have it. So let's just select bow and we have to change the static mesh into be you know the wooden bow but we have to create the shield so let's click add in the row name let's just put shield enter um actually well 
let's give it a property so it'll be wooden yeah wooden shield um it's not oh sorry so we cannot have any spaces i forgot that wooden underscore shield and we'll do the same here so wooden but here we can put the the space wooden shield uh the damage well it will not have any damage um require a level and let's put for example level one because it's the wooden shield so you start with it pretty much um the icon we can just put whatever right and for example we can put i don't know uh this one like i don't know kind of looks like a shield in minecraft and inside the mesh we can search our uh, medieval shield we should you know change it to there but whatever now it wouldn't bow let's go ahead and also change the socket just in case and so this will be basically back on the score uh what was a bow and on the wooden uh, shield this will be back on a score uh, shield right now we don't have set up the auto pickup socket but we'll do in the next episode probably well i mean if we go into ai probably not but you get the idea um all right so that should already yes work so of course let's select in here let's say that this will be our wooden bow so we have to kind of update it if we move it and this will be let's say a wooden shield very small but you know this is just the pickable items will fix up the size as we go so now i can just pick up the bow uh, the shield and the sword so if we open up the uh equipment slot panel we can go into the melee section and okay so i forgot something sorry 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 in the wb weapons weapons sorry in the wooden shield that we have just added i forgot to put the category on type so on type this will be armor sorry not not armor shields okay save and close sorry about that but now if we go and get this and get this and go and get this now we can just go here open a melee we will only be able to equip our light sword which we have just done as you can see we can go into range we will only see our wooden bow because the only range type that we have we can equip it and okay <laughs> it did equip it into here um okay i i did i think i forgot something which i think i know what's happening um the thing is that if we go into the wb equipment okay so we are only sorry i forgot something we have to pass the category variable into here because if not it's always getting melee and always equipping into melee sorry about that forgot it so we have to pass the current slot that it is um so now yes <laughs> with that um intentions we can just pick up this okay all the items great again we can go only select the melee uh, sword on here on the range bow and boom where they have it on our back we can go and uh, we don't have any armor so we can go with the shield and we'll only see the shield and boom equip it and bam we have it on our character <laughs> that's so cool um of course right now i place it uh, pretty quick on our bag so you know there are some things that like for example the the um, the arms are going through but you know there's are uh, things that will fix with time and i go go ahead and snap into it start attacking um here we go i, I don't know why i didn't detect the guy there but yeah we launch <laughs> okay so yeah we can go ahead and start attacking with our sword equipment really really cool stuff um you know what quickly i'm gonna go and tune in this a bit let's go into meshes sk mannequin go into the wooden shield socket and then put it a bit back okay a bit back there we go and then the bow let's select the bow and do so too i don't know if i'm improving this making it worse uh but, but you get the idea okay um maybe like this so yeah at any time you can just go move the sockets and it will do so um and just equip all this okay yeah that's my better i mean they still go through but you get the idea so with time we'll go ahead and improve it on we'll make it so that it doesn't go through and of course and all these things and right now of course the mannequin is a temporary character so you get the idea um, so that's it guys, if you found the video helpful, I would really appreciate you could like the video and subscribe to my channel. I have lots of Unreal Engine 5 tutorials and videos, so if you want to go ahead and check them out, go ahead. Uh, join my Discord server so you can ask any questions, 
um, also uh, share your progress with the series or with any game that you have and overall you start with game depths and so on and also um, you know uh, follow me on my socials at Twitter and Instagram and probably in the next episode and uh, maybe we we'll actually touch one thing of the panel which is just making sure that it doesn't attack while we have the panel open and then that we can just select and it will get the uh, very cool list out if you get it yet um, and then we'll start with the AI uh, but we'll see okay so with all said like the video subscribe to our channel and bye bye